We'll have a quick reflection with two extraordinary young Brazilian women. So we are talking about contagion and staying with the trouble. We are in the midst of a profound change of paradigms. Why do we keep on going in a non-sustainable direction? We're deeply embedded in a planet which is actually our own body. The ideas you're experiencing have been framed, and maybe you don't agree with that frame. So a new paradigm is a heart paradigm. This requires a completely different engagement with the world, and the world we understand is one of collaboration. Perhaps it's time to enter some sort of decolonial time zone. Yeah. This is not the truth now. It's actually helping us to realize we live in a, in a reality that we created. And this reality is collapsing, so it's helping us also to discern or to navigate. We are accustomed to have something and some narrative to believe. So I think that's why it's so hard, because it's yes. so many voices everywhere. I would just like to ask you how these paradigms that come from science are related to our economy, how it is nowadays. Climate change, biodiversity loss, food security, refugees crisis, reliance on fossil fuels, financial instability, poverty, inequality. I'm really excited to be here. I think this is one of the most exciting gatherings uh, of the year. Managers, directors, they are interested, they are curious, they are sitting here and listening to others uh, speak and these uh, others are social entrepreneurs, the people from the favela, researchers, innovators, teachers from Schumacher College that came. So Holos is a part of Colabora America that brings into the festival the humane approach to systemic change. So a lot of holistic activities happen there, ceremonies, workshops. I wanted to create a space where people from the material world, the entrepreneurs came together with the people from the spiritual world, therapists, witches, and we created a new DNA that, yeah. for me, this is all as yeah. innovation. A poet and scientist called Goethe, who said that you could not understand things from within the system themselves. It's not as simple as boiling things down till you get a mathematical truth. You have rather to look at the system, to look at all its relationships, to look at all its parts and how they're interacting. And then you have to make a leap in a way through your heart and your seeing to understand what is the greater ground that gives that plant that living identity. <laughs> Se a gente vai quase que inevitavelmente enfrentar uma nova crise econômica global. Então isso é uma coisa que está colapsando, né? Essa é uma estrutura que está colapsando. Until somebody points it out, it's not particularly, it's not remarkable because it's just how things are, yeah. is that the, the societal aspirations are defined by economic growth, which is measured in GDP, which is driven by mass consumerism. So the, you said collective imaginaries, the, 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 this, is, this is fundamentally a cultural issue, driven by the economics, but it's fundamentally a cultural issue, whose stories are validated. And more and more I'm, I'm getting convinced we can't really bring about the macro changes that we need. You know, everything we've been discussing in, yeah. with the idea of collapse. I think we 
a lot of loss is already on course and there's not much we can do about it other than preparing ourselves to deal with that. The whole world seems to be in a chaotic movement mm -hmm. and at that time you cannot hope to control that. So you have to find a new ground for it. And I think that's what we're trying to do. And that ground comes from life itself. There is no place that you can stand and uh, solve that complex system. You have to participate in it and connect, connect and form relationships and do so in an open way that's allowing something new to come in. So it, it's no good talking about complexity either. You have to participate in it with your whole being. Complexity theory comes from systems theory, which is based on natural science research. Complexity investigates uncertainty and non-linearity present in living systems, focusing on the interaction of parts and what new structures emerge from the process of self-organization. In the end, we are all uh, sharing a same home, which is Gaia, our Earth. And this home has uh, limited resources, and we know uh, that if we go this way, we are we're going to have a, a proper civilization. There is companies, there is initiatives, there is projects uh, that are happening with this new DNA, this purposeful DNA to understand what are the challenges nowadays and to bring about innovation to add value to society. A economical value is this systemical value. So it's not only money, it's not financial value, because uh, nowadays we know several, several uh, ecosystemic uh, services and values are not measured. And because they are not measured, uh, we are suffering as individuals, we are having diseases more and more, we are having stress, anxiety, depression. primeira vez no festival e a gente está bem feliz porque o nosso projeto ele é todo trabalhado na divulgação da ancestralidade do povo africano. Nossa premissa maior é que nós somos conectados com a natureza. Então é muito bacana isso, né? A gente poder, a gente tem que ter cuidado com a natureza, os orixás, as divindades africanas, os padrões africanos, são forças da natureza personificadas. Tudo isso conecta muito a vibe do festival. Aqui o Enabemi é muito mais uma história nossa de manifesto de vida, de buscar as raízes. So it's uh, Nigerian beans with banana da terra, isso é em português, uh, feijão nigeriano com banana da terra e camarão. Talk with Catherine to understand why the economy is key in the transition movement. I used to, many years ago, talk about the broken economy. You know, the, the economy is broken, but actually it's not. It's not broken at all. It's delivering exactly what it is designed to deliver. So what we've got to do, and I say we as in the movement, find transition journeys that those economies, those industries, those families can go on, where the, the footsteps that they will be taking will be secure. So often when people ask, you know, why do you talk about the economy so much? I say economy is not the most important thing in the world, but imagine if you're trying to walk across a stream, the most important thing is to get to the other side. Yeah. The economy is like those rocks that you will step upon. So they really matter, but without them, they, and if they're slippery and if they're wobbly, then, my gosh, you won't get us off the other side. There need to be enough of them for everyone to have a footstep as, as well. We need a whole lot of different sorts of skill sets, people with different spheres of influence, people really at the grassroots yes. demonstrating what this looks like. Then we... In, in, creating in, artists. Ex exactly. Yeah. The, we need the people in the political space. Um, for we all, we call ourselves the AMP team, the amplifiers. So we yeah. say we're not the rock stars, but we want to amplify the work of all these people who are doing oh, things and, and just tell the world about yeah. it. Uh, there's people who say they're the second adopters, there's those who are pioneers. Yeah. I mean, there's all these different roles. And I think that's the great, hardest, but also the greatest thing is finding where are you on that different, yeah, you know, where are you on that team? Exactly. Uh, Self-knowledge and this deep, this deep notion of yourself. Yes. Yeah. Understanding the world are so conditioned by narratives and metaphors 
um, and narratives that are that are deeply embedding, deeply reinforcing the growth paradigm. And I'm going to be suggesting that this is a time, the times of transition as at the moment, are times when we need to become much more conscious, much more explicit about what the dominant narratives are and to really skillfully begin to find ways of transforming the narrative. Who am I to demand that the world um, subscribes to my perspectives of how it should behave? The world is much more than my ideologies. What does it mean to reframe justice and victory and hope in a world that is bigger than I am, that is a multi-species conglomeration of bodies? We may not be able to solve all our problems, but we have to find new ways of reframing our problems because this time demands it for you and I. Thank you, that's it. Now clap. Thank mm -hmm. you.